you've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth paywall. In today's video, you will learn how to bypass any paywall that can be bypassed with the following five Chrome extensions. You can find links to them in the description below. But before we take a look at the extensions themselves, let's talk about the types of paywalls. They come in two sizes, soft paywalls and hard paywalls. Soft paywalls are essentially a curtain that goes over the content that's already loaded into the page. And you just need to remove that curtain. You need to remove that element that abstracts the view, abstracts the article itself. The second type of paywall is the hard paywall. The hard paywall is a lot more common. And what happens is that it checks if you have access to the article. And if you don't, which you probably don't at this point, it's going to just display a pop-up saying, hey, you need to subscribe. Otherwise, it's going to unlock it. In order for us to bypass those types of paywalls, we can just pretend to be somebody else. Specifically, we want to pretend to be search engines because those articles want to be indexed. So they open themselves up to search engines such as Google. So that's the way to bypass the second type of paywalls. Let's take a look at the extensions themselves. The first extension is called Bardeen.ai and it bypasses a hard paywall. Here we are on the Economist website and let's scroll down to see if we can read this article. We cannot. In order to bypass this paywall, we're going to launch Bardeen. You can click on this icon right here and let's launch this specific playbook. It removes the paywall by looking for this article elsewhere on the internet. Specifically, it tries to find the article on archives.org. Archives.org just scrapes all of the internet. It's a bot, so it's treated differently and it can get access to the content that could not on our computers. Here's the entire article right here in front of us. Again, it just takes one click to bypass a paywall with Bardeen. Now let's take a look at the second extension. It's called the reader mode and it bypasses the soft paywall. Soft paywall, again, is just a curtain that abstracts the content. So let's click on an article that we're interested in over here and let's scroll down a little bit. So here we can read the full article and here is our paywall. You need to subscribe to it. I'm going to click on the extension icon right here and here is the entire article nicely formatted. We can read it very easily. And the cool thing is that you can combine both Bardeen that bypasses hard paywalls and reader mode to make content look uh, much better and much easier to read. So if we come back here to The Economist, we can put it up with reader mode. Okay. The third Chrome extension is called Unpaywall and it helps you read scientific articles for free. Here in front of us, we have nature.com article. And if you scroll down, this article would cost us $32 to read or 200 euros to subscribe for the entire year. The cool thing is that the authors of the articles, they usually can publish the same piece on their university websites. And that's exactly how this extension works. On the right side, if you have downloaded the extension, it's going to show you uh, a little lock if you click on it. The extension is going to find that same article from their internal database. This way you can just keep browsing through the web doing your scientific research the usual way. And then if you can read that article for free, you'll see that green lock, which is a pretty cool interface. Chrome extension number four is called uBlock Origin. And it's just an ad blocker that removes all of the ads and annoying pop-ups from your browser. And it also bypasses soft paywalls. Let's click here to download this extension and let's try it out on that article from the Boston Globe. Here we have the paywall. So I'm going to find the extension. So here we have uBlock Origin. Let's click here. And as you can see, let's try to reload the page and if, see if it works. Okay, we're going to try to read the full article. And there's still a paywall, but here's the trick. You can say where the elements are that you want to remove from the page. So click on this icon over here and then select the elements that you want to remove. Let's select this one and we'll need to click on that part one more time and remove this layer that is also unneeded. And here is your article just like this, and you can read it. And finally, Chrome extension number five is called Bypass a Paywall. It's not on Google Chrome Store because it pretends to be a Google robot, a Google crawler, but there's still a way to install it on your computer. Here is how you should do this. 
click on download over here. The zip will get downloaded onto your page and you need to unpack this file just like this. Here we have the file over there. Now go to your extensions, manage extensions, make sure you have developer mode enabled and click on load unpacked. Go to downloads, select this item, make sure you not delete it because it's not going to work. And here you have a list of different publications that uh, this website can bypass. So there's some custom websites you can try out as well, uh, but it doesn't always work. Again, it's up to you to try it out. Let's click on a random article. Let's click on this one and see if we can read the article all that easily. And yes, we can. Didn't need to even do anything. Let's click on another article and the article is already there. It's pretty cool. You should definitely try it out. It doesn't work on all articles and it's a fishy tactic, but it does work. And now I'd like to show you how to bypass paywalls manually without installing any Chrome extensions. So here we are on the Financial Times website and let's click on an article. And here is the paywall. We cannot read the content. We can also not bypass it because it's not a soft paywall. The content hasn't been loaded. So what you can do is this. You can just copy the title of the article and paste it into Google search. And when you click on this article from Google search, you can actually read it just like that. Alternatively, you can go to outline.com and paste your article right here into search and see if they have indexed it and boom, there is your article. But what happens if you got struck by a paywall on mobile? Well, there is a solution for that as well with Apple Shortcuts. Here's a QR code. You can pause this video and get access to it pretty much right away. And here's how it works. You're reading through an article, in this case on The Economist. Here you need to click on Bypass Paywall and just like this, you can read the full article. And this is it. These were the five top Chrome extensions to bypass pretty much any paywall. You can find links to them in the description below. So go try them out. Paywalls are never going to be an issue ever in your life if you download those and try those out. And remember to support great journalism. It takes a lot of time and effort to write good quality content, to do all of the research, and it does go a long way to the reporters and to the publications that create awesome content that you actually want to read. If you want to check out more life-saving and time-saving automations just like this one. Subscribe to this channel and check out Bardeen.ai for more videos and more content just like this. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.